Hi, everybody. My name is Travis Brandner, and I am here with one of Cincinnati's best bands, Multi Magic. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're good. Will you please go down and introduce yourselves to the people of the internet who don't know you personally? Yeah. Hey, I'm Anthony. I play bass in Multi Magic. Yeah, yeah. I'm Meg. I uh, play keys in Multi Magic. I'm Corin. I sing and play guitar in Multi Magic. I'm Evan. I play drums in Multi Magic. <laughs> and I'm Jimmy. I play guitar in Multi Magic. 2019, I feel like, is almost over. What has the first 10 or 11 months of the year been like for your band so far? What's like the best parts? Um, I think it's been really cool. Uh, we started playing together in this lineup um early on in like 2018 or like towards the end of 2017 mm -hmm. and um that year was all about just becoming a band and like recording and just trying to figure things out and the goal in 2019 was to actually put music out and we put a song out in january and then that kind of led to some cool things we were able to play uh bellwether over the summer we played our first headline show in a couple of years uh at woodward theater and then now we're releasing a few more songs uh, before the end of the year's out. So it's been cool. So being like kind of a new fresh band, the, the way we do things in 2019 is so different. How do you know what the audience reception is? How do you know if people like you? Is it like the like YouTube views or downloads or Spotify? How do you or is it people coming to the shows? How do you guys know? Like, what is the way you do it today? You, you don't really know. It's like very, very hard to tell, especially when you're at like kind of a kind of starting things out like we are. Um, the numbers aren't gonna be super reflective of how people feel about um, the music. So it really comes down to like what people are actually saying to you. That's how you can tell, like I've, I can tell people like us because people like it seem, when they talk to me about our music, they seem genuinely like they, they enjoy it. And that's, that is really, really, really cool. <laughs> yeah. In other bands I've played in, and I've been this guy too, like you play with a band, and then afterwards, you know, you're like loading the gear off and you say, hey man, great set, or you know, you sounded great, or whatever, right? But in this band, when we finish playing, like people genuinely actually come up to us and are asking about lyrics, or they're saying like, you know, I listened to it, or just people, like you said, it just seems more genuine, like actually people seem to care, and I mean, at the end of the day, we love our music and we love playing it. So if other people find it cool and like it and enjoy it, then that's, you know, why we're doing it. You know, otherwise we could just stay in the room and keep making music ourselves. It sounds like you guys are getting traction and good feedback. So how do you like harness that and move forward? Like what's the, the plan to move forward with that? How are you going to do that? I think the thing is kind of the same idea is just, Honestly, we just love playing together and being around each other. So for us, it's just like success and that sort of thing is just like financials and logistics, like finding each other and just being able to make music together and have a good time is like already like the success, you know, being able to play more shows and get out there and, you know, see more people come to those shows. I mean, that's it's going to be cool, you know, as that, um, grows, but honestly right now it's just about like trying to do as much of it. We can, you know, uh, the more shows that we get to play, the more we'll play them, you know, and hopefully as more people come out and the more opportunities we'll get. One of the things that, uh, I think is definitely a measurement of success around here is the fact that you guys are nominated for a CEA award. Congratulations for that. Um, yes. What does the Cincinnati Entertainment Awards mean to you guys as people from Cincinnati? I'm new to this. <laughs> all, here we go. All I know is that the CEAs are like Cincinnati Grammys. Is that what we called it? So this is my first experience with this. Honestly, I've never even been to one. Super excited. But um, it really comes down to um, supporting all the bands that are nominated for this. And congratulations to all those guys. Um, kind of going back to the question of success, I feel like there's not really a line to, okay, we've reached that line or that threshold of success. I think the biggest thing is um, being true to yourself in your music, in your person as a band. And I think um, 
really living in that present moment with each other and whether on stage or writing or just hanging out, that is what reaches that threshold of success. You know, there's not a best band. There's not a, like I said, and so even like being nominated for this is like, it's just, it's awesome, but it really comes down to like what we do together in whatever moment we're in. We are really grateful though. Like it's, it's a, it's a big honor. Like it's, 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 it's hard for, of course, but it's like, it's hard to, when you're like nose to the grindstone, really trying to make stuff happen. It's hard to like take a second and look at things and be like, wow, that's actually, that's the thing that like we're doing. It was like that with like getting to play bellwether and stuff like that. It's like, wait, hold on. This is like, we got to like take a step back and not look at this as like another step on the ladder and just be like whoa this is like people really genuinely like us and they're like honoring us with this nomination it's like a huge honor from the from the city that we love you know like it's I it makes me incredibly happy that we get this opportunity and if I could just kind of say I mean last year we went and I think we went a couple years ago and th those were like the first years that was at Memorial Hall and like it's been so cool to see all of our friends that we yeah. love like Ronan Holloway and POC and Tribe were up there. Uh, yeah, JB LeMange, Carriers, Silmar was up there. Um, Fisco played last year. So, like, all these bands and Moonbow, I mean, so many. So, for us to actually get to perform this year and to be able to nom be nominated, it's just, it's awesome. We should also take a second to say to all your fans watching that you guys will be playing. Yes, we just found out. I, I don't know if we're allowed to say that. It's, I th it's out now. <laughs> so to all the multi-Magic fans who want to go to a really probably important show, you should go to the Cincinnati Entertainment Awards and Over the Rhine and see you guys play. It'll be a big moment for you guys. And yeah, it's uh, November 24th. That's su Sunday. And good luck to you guys. Thank you. you. Know. So talking about the Cincinnati music scene, do you guys want to go down the line with the microphone and just take a second and shout out your favorite Cincinnati artists that you like? Should we start with me? <laughs> um, r there's so many, but a lot, I have a lot of close friends in uh, Mimbo. Uh, Somar is amazing too. Carriers, I've been really, really into. Uh, Coastal Club as well. I've been loving those dudes for a while as well. Um, but I'll keep more open for you guys. <laughs> Ronan Holloway yeah. with DJ, producer, Smokeface. Um... Silmar, for sure, yeah. and Moonbow. I actually went to school with uh, both of them at CCM. Yeah. And, um, well, Johnny, oddly, for sure. Yeah. Uh, everyone that's been mentioned, and um, I actually, um, Maria Corelli, I just, like, think that, like, her music's great, but I think that she has, like, all the things that like you should be doing as a band and she's up for I think record of the year and I hope she wins because it's a great record and she's just been like doing it harder than anybody this year like touring all over just her in the car driving to West Virginia every weekend driving I mean just doing it and I think she's you know her music's great but like she's actually out there like just trying to make things happen and I think that's super cool uh, Kitty SP I love Kitty SP. Um, then like I like a bunch of hip hop scene guys: JB, Lamage, Ronan, POC, Devin Burgess, D8. Uh, the list goes on, man. These guys, all those guys, are like really close friends of mine, and they're like super, super talented dudes. Uh, Grand Ace, like they're they're like uh, it's really cool to be fans of like super fan of like your legitimate friends it's pretty pretty tight yeah love you guys <laughs> well i'm a huge fan of um the summer festivals at fountain square uh that kind of turned me on to a lot of music back in the day uh, like the pomegranates they recently made a return at the blink festival that was super stoked on that like and uh you know the carriers is a, a big one shout out to kurt um i really I really think that Blossom Hall and uh, yeah, Hall. yeah, Turtle Turtle Doves and all those guys are super cool. Um, you know, Moonbow, yeah, pretty much everyone that ever, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I really, you know. Yeah. No, but it, what, did you go through it? Well, did you get through the list? 
I was going to say one more thing. And I really wish that we could bring back uh, the old Midpoint Music Festival because that's when I learned about so much cool in, uh, local Cincinnati music and stuff like that. I don't know why I forgot, but Sunday drives, obviously. I should, yeah. Here, get here. Question for you, sir. To the people who don't know, will you just give a quick like overview of what Inhaler is and what you're working on? I'd like to hear from your mouth on camera, if that's okay. Sure. Um, <laughs> From my mouth. <laughs> um, so yeah, for people that don't know, um, in 2015, 2016, uh, WNKU started this thing where they were like, we're gonna really try to get behind the local music scene and they committed to playing at least uh, one local band an hour. And you know, they've been around for 30 years and had like a pretty decent reach. And um, before I was playing with these guys, I had put out one song called Let Go and they got behind the song. And I had an opportunity to play uh, Bunbury Music Festival. And then later that summer, we played one of the last Midpoint Music Festivals. And in those three months in between, uh, WNKU spun Let Go a bunch. And it made a huge difference in turnout between like just those opportunities plus WNKU. And so I started to see like the, that value of that. And so I started trying to help um, some other bands like the Yugos and then Moonbow and um, a few others and try to, you know, get their music on WNKU and try to just help, like, do this whole thing where we were, the radio station was supporting them and then we were trying to build this, like, live music thing. And then it kind of all culminated at the beginning of 2017 when um, the Yugos sold out Woodward Theater, like, oversold it, like, 700 plus people. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. It, it was such a win for the Cincinnati music scene. And then, like, Literally a week later, the university announced that they were selling the station, and everyone just like, you know, their heart dropped, you know? And so the thing for me was I had never done anything with radio outside of like just, you know, being a band or like on the artist side, but thought we got to do something. And so I just started posting and asking for people. And then um, someone who's now a great friend of mine, Taylor Fox, uh, I ran into him at a, a Fanagram concert, and he was like, I've got some radio experience. Let's do something. And so we just started putting a team together. And we started broadcasting a little bit towards the end of uh, 2017. And then basically at the beginning of 2018, we were able to commit to like a full schedule. And we've just been going ever since. And we just passed basically two years this past weekend. Um, and uh, it's been awesome. It, it's grown immensely. And all these bands that we're talking about, we've supported it. And they all came out and did a benefit show for us uh, at Southgate House, and it was awesome. It's been really, really cool. And for, I know for me personally, it's been a way that I've been able to learn about so much music that's been out there that I didn't know about, both locally and stuff that's coming uh, out nationally and internationally. And then it's also, we, just, we, we have an independent station in Cincinnati still that um, radio promoters and booking agents, you know, they see that, that there's an actual reason to come to Cincinnati instead of skipping us and going to Columbus or Indianapolis or, or Louisville or Lexington. So it's been cool. I think that's really awesome that you did that. I have nothing but respect to you for that. And I just hope nothing but the best and success in the future. And hopefully we'll talk about this in a couple of years and it'll be awesome. I think that pretty much covers everything we, I wanted to ask you guys, will you just give us a quick Shout out to what your music is coming up, and then I think we can say goodbye to everybody. Sure. So uh, November 15th, we've got our first EP, Move On, coming out, and uh, that's got a four, it'll have four songs on it, and then early next year, we're going to announce uh, when the full length will be out, so it's going to be awesome. Well, thank you for sitting down and talking to me, guys. Check out Multi Magic on their social media. It's everywhere social media is. And we will see you guys later. <laughs>